What's up guys, it's Daniel here from Daniel Tech Today's my predicted lineup for Brentford versus Chelsea in the Premier League. Let's get into my lineup. So with the formation for this game, I'm just going to stick with the three at the back. I think possible stick with it because it's been working well recently. In goal, obviously it's going to be Kep, but I think Kep has proven his worth at the moment in goal. He's right centre-back, Trevor Chalaba. Brilliant since he's playing. Central centre-back, I'm going to go with Thiago Silva, even though he has been saying that he was going to be... That Potter was saying he might be a doubt for Wednesday. Left centre-back, Koulibaly. Didn't start against Aston Villa. He was on the bench with Kukurea playing at left centre-back. Right wing-back, I'm going to go with Ruben Loftus-Cheek. He's been really good there recently. He's playing in the midfield against Aston Villa. But then it got moved out to right wing-back when Sterling went into the front three. The two in the midfield, I'm going to go with Jorginho. He came off the bench against Villa. I think he might have been carrying the knock. And the other midfield, I'm going to go with Dennis Zakaria. I know it was it's a surprise they put him in here again. But if Ruben's going out to the wing-back, maybe Gallagher can play, but I don't think he's going to play. Kovacic came off injured. Left wing-back, I'm going to go with Mark Kukurea. I know people say, oh, why are you playing him? You know, Chilwell, I don't think he was that good against Villa, nor with Kukurea. But put Kukurea back at left wing-back, I think we're golden. And the two attacking midfielders are going to go with Kai Havertz and Mason Mount. Kai Havertz came off at half-time against Aston Villa, but I think he will... Start, even though it was quite poor. And the other cam, Mason Mount, obviously. Be fantastic against Aston Villa. Got a brace and he was superb. And striker, I'm going to stay with Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Even though he wasn't really involved and came off just before the hour mark. So let's get on to the opposition side of things. So our opponents, Brentford. In their last game, they managed to win 2-0 at home to Brighton. With a brace from Ivan Tony, he's a brilliant player. I wanted him at Chelsea in the summer, but we decided to get Aubameyang. Their last five games, they lost 5-1 away to Newcastle. And before that, they drew 0-0 against Bournemouth. It was, I think that game was very, very close. They lost 3-0 at home to Arsenal. Before that, that was when Arsenal just outplayed them. Before the Arsenal game, they beat Leeds 5-2. When they, they were just absolutely fantastic. They drew 1-0 with Crystal Palace away from home. Their top scorer is Ivan Tony. He's been unbelievable this season. He should really be going in the England squad for the World Cup. I'd honestly take him with Abraham and Kane as the strikers. He's got eight goals and three assists in 11 games. So that's 11 goal contributions in 11 games. And the danger player is De Silva, who he's been good as well. Who's got two goals in 11 games with 240 minutes per goal. So guys, my score prediction for this game, I'm going to go with Chelsea 3 Brentford won away at the Brentford Community Stadium. I think Mount will get another goal, Havertz and Aubameyang. And I think Ivan Tony will score a goal for Brentford. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. See ya.